Welcome to the channel and No Man's Sky Power Dev Mode. In the last part we did some more on the kind of key mission which is the purge now. It's reset the simulation, it says progress towards the galactic center and eventually it will show up in the bottom right and I think it we've got to jump make 16 jumps. I've already done four so I think it's going to be the time to get back now to the normal progress and what I would like to do is find a new base but before I do that there we are it says there the purge at the sequence 4 out of 16 and so we've got to do quite a lot of jumping um, and I will progress along the atlas path but what I want to do in this part is actually just look for a possible new base location but before I get started I got a comment from Phil Silvers about the Cyclotron Ballista and I thought what I'm going to do is put it, install it just to give it a try because I've always been a bit worried about it because if you if you look here it says fires a, a large concentrated ball of charged particles at forward targets causing heavy damage the charge is long guided and will continue on its trajectory until it impacts with an obstacle I've always been a bit worried about that because with my luck, if I was near a friendly ship or freighter, I'd end up hitting the freighter. And But maybe we'll give it a go. And I thought what I'll do is I'll install it, that and maybe this. I think I've got one more here. So I need 50 aluminium, 30 chrysonite and 50 nickel. I'm pretty sure I've got that. So let's install that before I go off. Well, if it's no good, it's no good. Why is that not? And no, we don't need that. And we want to nickel and, and aluminium. And chrysonite. Chrysonite's in here. a cyclop ballista and that in I don't know if that actually helps and we'll improve the fire rate by 10% I've got no idea what the benefits of that are and put this back in the perspective lockers plenty of space in my ship in case we find anything of value. And I'm just going to drop a save on the way through. And what I'm going to do is go to the last place we found, which is in a bunker station. Because that's got five planets in it. And as I say, what I want to do is go looking for a potential new base location. up the carbon here. If this system's a bust then we will push on maybe do a bit more of the Atlas path. But I just want to see, I mean if with five planets, one of them's definitely got to be radioactive I would have thought because that's what I want to settle on is a radioactive planet but not one that's going to kill me instantaneously with hostile sentinels. star bulbs on it and see photon cannon that's actually fires two shots okay that's camera root. that's an irradiated planet that's the one we're after Let's go check this out. To Canis us. I mean, do I stop and fight? Get near the planetary atmosphere. Bounty ship. The 
bounty ship there. See what you mean about the accuracy. Change. The phase beams are. Oh, this guy's really twisting, turning. Could give the rocket launchers a go. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe it wasn't a fair test, but I think with the ship really twisting and turning, I think trying to hit with that cyclotron ballista. Could be a little bit. Oh, we got a milestone accomplished. Didn't say what it is. Menace, we've destroyed 40 starships. Imagine this. Oh. Well, I suppose it could be useful for mining. The range like. Ah, so it is not. Doesn't carry on until it hits something. There is a range. Okay, get down on the planetary surface. Yeah, so it's not infinite, despite what it says in the description. So here we are, a potential home. And I think what I'm going to do is look for a base. And another thing on the rocket launcher, guys, I think it'd be really nice if there was an upgrade to the rocket launcher that improved the accuracy by giving it an automatic targeting system. I mean, that could be quite useful. Anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to fly across the surface of the planet. Well, I haven't found a base, but I've found a trading station, and I've got some, some bits and pieces to sell, guys, so I think we're going to just put down on the trading station. And maybe we can make a little bit of cash, talk to the natives who will be for keen. No security, generous, regular. It's got potential. Won't be fun to fight off uh, sentinels every five minutes. Okay, let's just sell off some stuff. Sell off inventory and let's go to the ship. Some tropium to sell and some eminem and some herox. See if they've got past 43 million in my campaign to actually make get enough money to buy a freighter. Hmm. Yeah, I think this planet's getting to the top of my very very short list of potential candidates because it's not it's not full of hostile sentinels so I can relax on it flying across the surface it looks relatively flat which is something I am looking for so because it would mean I'll be able to use my Colossus more because of course one of the problems if you're on a really rough old planet using the Colossus can be quite difficult well, that's That's probably not worth worrying about. A cool chip, but get nip. Not really using get nip at the moment. Uh, I mean, I like the idea of the plants. I've got the keen dagger. I might be able to use that. 
and suspension fluid, we're going to sell that. Suspension fluid isn't really worth anything. Well, it's worth a little bit of credit, but I, I can't see the point really of trying to stock up. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Hello, Mr. Vakeen. Deaf, 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 deaf. Owler, deaf warrior. Okay. Warrior seems less aggressive than I might expect. Their lips curl over the teeth as they taste my scent. Okay. 20 dye. I got more dye in my inventory. Interesting. Let's, let's barter for this guy. Scout accepts my offer and gives me a package in return. I've just paid a thousand credits for a shielding shard. That's about a waste. Waste of time. Interloper. Ah, this is more the standard message. Or uh, hackles rise and stand to shake in anticipation of my request. Since that their ancestors are likely to be offended if I push the issue too far. Well, I'll we'll give him a Vakeen dagger. That's my gift with gratitude. Our standings improved. Okay, we'll try one more. Death, 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 death. Or it seems less aggressive. Yep. Obviously, it's one standard message per station. Which is be a word of their language. Learn the word of power. And we'll just get rid of those. Uh, suspension fluids and any other junk that I've actually got actually want to get rid of the callbacks and the suspension fluid that's worth 20,000 I think I'm going to hang on to that for the moment but what I am going to do if they've got if they've got it 56 plutonium might as well buy it. Just see how things go. Ship. Ah. Set off in the wrong direction. Nothing on this platform. Right. I need to find a base. I think to a base. Right, now to set a base up, I think I need to find somewhere where I can set up a exocraft platform there. So that we can test it. Oops. Not paying attention. Blew into the surface. Right, I finally found a base, guys. I can set down on retake off and landing. Right, got here. Let's see what it is. And it's still reinforced door. Okay, got a solution for that. Away and come back. You can see the door, hit the trees over there. open any sentinels around no nope. with the sentinels and we'll go check in the base see if we can get anything of value in here Standing with the Vakeen, and this is where 
I make all the wrong decisions. Interloper visual detection monitoring. The alarm has locked onto the terminal. Security cat scanners appear and slowly turn towards me. A message display. Let's 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 It doesn't mention visual. Uh, cut the camera feed. Yep. Security alert does not trace me. The facility becomes operational. And we got a formula for Magno Gold. Oh, and that reminds me, guys. Ah, uh, uh, creating these actually mentioned something about advanced formulas, and I had a look at this. Uh, building advanced formulas. I don't seem to have many. I mean, I mean, I've got these. I, I assume that you got to go and get them, and then actually build things from them. Because I don't seem to have any advanced formulas to build. I don't know if that comes when you actually get a freighter or something. So now we're now down on this planet here, and I think. What I'm going to do is deploy. Blow up, and we've now improved our relationship with the Vakeen. And what I'm going to do is deploy. Actually, let's just deploy a signal booster first. Then I might be able to save the expense of <laughs> deploying an exocraft, a drop pod, habitable base. Okay, let's take a look at the habitable base. It's three and a half minutes that way. Okay. It's going to leave that signal booster there. Anything round here of value? Some uh, scan. Plutonium over there, we'll go and get that. That much there. It's just there, but we'll get this. Same, we want to get the process up and running. Over here. We're amenable. Hmm. Our shields are slowly dropping. Any more creatures around here? Okay. Now let's go check out the base. What I'm looking for is a base that's located in a reasonably flat area simply because what I want to be able to do is be able to get in and out of the base with my Colossus uh, oh, right next to this base, okay, I can walk out here not exactly what I'm looking for, it's got some quite steep approaches I don't know if that's actually by doing hover over the top. Oh, why am I inside the ship? Photo mode, caves nearby. I suppose this slope isn't that aggressive. I suppose we could use the terrain tool to smooth things off a bit. I mean, this has got a little bit of a drop off here. That's not too rocky that direction. Okay. Colossus should be able to get out in that direction. Mm. Will it work? 
won't it? Will it? Won't kind of part of me says yes, it's ideal. Another part of me says, well, maybe I to look for somewhere else or something. I think what I'm gonna do, guys, put down. the land I'm gonna put an exocraft platform out because I want to before I move base I want to mark it so what we can do is come here and I don't want to put the exocraft too close to the base so I probably want to end up moving it anyway I don't want a Roma base Roma base out a check out I need some plutonium and that anyway so another base up there and there's a knowledge stone here what's the plutonium situation plenty of plutonium in the rover anyway not a lot of plutonium and resources nearby Oh, this is just a mast. I suppose we could just go and... As he says, as he drives straight into a hole in the grounds. This is not an extreme planet. Advanced life form detected. How far away is that? Been zapped. Four and a half minutes. Mm. Plutonium. Something at 44 seconds. Wait, okay, let's go check this out. See what's around. A bit worried about there's not that much plutonium around, and I do like to be able to stock up more plutonium on my planets. bases here. Come in at these. I need to stock up on nanites anyway. this advanced life form see what he's got to offer do like the relatively flat terrain of this planet but it doesn't might be a bit of a waste of time if there's nothing much to actually collect on it okay oh we've got to grab some nanites while we're here Again, if you actually repair all these around your base, I've noticed that you can actually come back and collect more nanites from them without actually having to repair them again. So, that could be a bonus. Those four out of five species means the last one's going to be impossible to find. Uh, yeah. Ah, no, to 
discoveries on my own about. Yep, we've got one more to go. Wow, all the slots. Okay, let's do a big bulk upload. Make a bit more cash, I didn't realise that. Wow. Oh. oh well. Cash is rolling in. Get out of my way. Two minutes won't take long to get there. We got over here. Wait, five in fifteen seconds. Big hole there. Oh, I got a major hole. Check out this place here. Oh, and a bit of the language. Uh, ancient knowledge passed down from the generations of the Keen spills out on the marker stone. None hamper the path towards the wherever that is, Dindrindrag. As the sentinels, they must be destroyed. Their time has ended. Though it has been written that we shall come be. This is a Vakeen swear. Learn another word for Vakeen. And allegiance. Do you form allegiances with the Vakeen? Was that just part of what they would say? That you don't have an allegiance, therefore they kill you. That's a trading base as well. That could be useful. A trading base close to my normal base. Could mark this. Not that I'd be going and trading at it very often. Let's grab this. Suspension fluid, let's sell that. That. Gek charm. Probably sell that. I've got plenty of gek charms here. Pair that. Nanites. And we've got ourselves a trading station. That's good. Waypoint detected. And there's a ship actually parked on it. Okay, not a problem. Any rounds? Not oh, no, no particular interest in scanning the base. Plutonium. See what? Rains out to lunch. Bypass chip. Here. Summon our ship here. Plutonium over there. Blue Mr. Vakeen. Have that. Got another 185 credits. Interloper. You always call me an interloper. Death, death, death. And no other word. Warrior grabs my multi tool, stares at it dismissively, and then starts yapping straight in my face. Yaps turn into slow, hollow barks. They are unimpressed and dramatically so at that. Suddenly a holographic catalogue of armaments and attachments appears. The warrior opens his arms and embraces me. Um, exosuit technology. Tool technology. Um, I'm going to go for a multi-tool blueprint, actually. Gives me a new multi-tool technology blueprint. Yes! 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 Wow, I've finally got one! Yes! That makes the whole part worth it. Great. Sorry, apologies. I've got a. I don't think we're just use up this here and that there. Yes, that makes the whole thing worth it. And I've got to build it, guys. 
and where am I going to put it? I don't really have the space. I probably need to shuffle things around a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm going to put it there because I can move dismantle that one and move that over there and then we could get the enhancements for the plasma thrower yes I've got my plasma thrower and I am really really happy uh, I'll move that off camera because I need more chrysanite yes I am really really happy and I think what I'm going to do and you guys can cringe at this when I do it and, and I'm going to sell off all these electron vapors and suspension fluid the reason I'm selling off all those electron vapors is simply the fact that I've got loads of them back in my home base in fact I've got about 10 of them I can't see the point of stocking even more and of course well wow fleeting harmony 20 slots yeah, but I think I've got a bigger multi tool than that actually. No, my current multi tool is 19. Okay, if I dismantle this, this is only C class. Is it worth it? Three quarters of a million for improving one slot. Then I'd have to dismantle all that, but I've got my plasma throw, which I'm. No, I think I'm going to hang out there. I mean, it does look really cool, but. I think maybe we're not going to there. I am really made up, guys. <laughs> Sorry about it, but I I really like the idea. Let's have a quick yeah. building shard. Yeah, well, I finally got my plasma thrower. Go check out these buildings. Standing for the keen. I think this that could be a good portal, guys. I I I really feel that maybe this will be a good home for me. Uh, in trusty steed, I am definitely going to drop a save. I thought they'd fix that. I just got being thrown out of my. Right, I think what I'm going to do is take off. We've got hostiles, and before I make the final, final decision, I want to check out the other planets, see what else is in the system. That's oh, a bounty ship. Right. What else have we got in the system? Over there, we've got cactus flesh. Yeah, that's good. Star bulbs there. Let's get that. That's an airless planet. Not as useful as they used to be, but. Go away. Okay, rockets. Oops, missed. Okay. Cyclotron ballista. Oops, I hit the phase beam. Okay, let's see if we can hit him. Oh. So if you get him close, you might be able to hit him. think the phase beam are
credit, tropium. Some asteroids for mining. That's my potential new home planet and base lining up on another planet. There it is over there. Isn't it? Unknown planet. We got a star bulbs, we got an airless planet. Two star ball planets. Cactus flesh, uh, star ball planet, airless, and there's a one, two, four. Ah, uh, can I live here? I think maybe. Although I don't get bounced by that attractive bounty idiot. Tropium Eminem Now actually let's look discovery Dakinesis This conflict level destructive Dominant life form became commercial unsuccessful <laughs> Fauna of generous And let me see save anyway. I think what I am going to do, out of curiosity, just to wind this part up guys, this planet here, the Starbolt planet, got nickel, emerald nickel on it. What I'm going to do is go down and see if it's hostile. Then we're just going to go down, find a base to land on, and See how hostile this planet is. Oh, looks like it's a little lake there. That's cool. Maybe a uh, lake? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to fly across the surface and just find any old base to land at so that I can actually claim the planet. Always is when you find something like this that's interesting, you think, oh, I want to explore this. You find it's an extreme planet or something like that. I actually quite like this planet actually. Shame it's not irradiated. Uh, it's lush. I can guarantee it's going to be hot, full of hostile centaurs. The drop pod here. Right, what we're going to do is land on the drop pod. Might as well claim it. And I've got, I've got the plutonium. Yep, aggressive. I knew it. Okay, we're just gonna. Now that could be useful, actually, guys. I don't think this this will let us. Oh, we can expand again. Wow. But I think what I'm gonna do is just a general expansion this time. Go away. I'm going to be back to farm you guys. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, I'm definitely going to be back to farm those guys off a bit. Actually, we need to charge our phase beam, some carbon, pulse beam. I don't want to make sure we've got plenty of that. Uh, deflections for shield sigma. Need that. Because we'll be living on a radioactive planet. I think that can go to the ship. Up in space. So we've got an extreme planet 
that we can farm the sentinel from. Yep, I, I just don't want to waste my time on them at the moment. I want to wind this part up guys, I, I think I've gone on far too long. But I've got a bit distracted. Right, that's the our uh, potential home base. It's a bleak planet. Okay guys, I'm gonna get back to the base to the space station. This is where I'm gonna wind the part up. Because I'm not gonna rush into moving this base because obviously there's gonna be steps which I'm gonna need to do to actually move my base which I will go into in the next part if I do finally decide that that is the planet for me as a new I suppose the correct term is a money making base and I think we can farm the sentinels let me just have a quick look at this land and we'll jump out here so, journey. Let's have a quick look. I've yet to get all the species on a planet. We need to push this forward as well to get to 10. But having a hostile sentinel planet means I can land and farm the sentinels. We've destroyed 41 starships, so we've completed Adventurer, Ambassador, Babel Fish. Uh, we're now a Magnet and Legends. Uh, Voyager, we've only walked 28 times. That's quite low, actually. Merchant, some more work to do on the Merchant's Guild and the Mercenaries Guild. Mission complete. Explorer's Guild. And it's our standing with the Gek. Well, we got very high for the Gek. We haven't actually completed it, so we've only done one mission for the Gek. Done two missions for the Vakeen. And Adjutant. And we've got a significant for the Corvax. We've got 94 words of Corvax, 47 of Keen. We've only got 40 of the Gek. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to think about it off camera, maybe do a bit more exploration and build up some resources and if it's a go in the next part I will set about moving my base so this is where I'm going to leave it guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming